I go. Eh, make a clear road for my people. Oh, she. Merry Christmas in Arias. Merry Christmas in Arias. And Happy New Year in advance. Happy New Year in advance. Happy Shapa. Happy Competi. Eh, Happy Shapa. I go. Happy Shapa. I go. Happy Shapa. Hey, happy comfort to you. <laughs> yes, happy new year in advance. Merry Christmas in arrears. Happy Shapao. Happy comfort to you. Akwa duo. And me a shock well to my Nigeria people, my Yoruba people. Akwa duo. My Ghanaian people. Happy Shapao. <laughs>
actually sold his market there's no way you don't want to buy it, it was like ah sister this is good for you this is it to help you through this journey as you're preparing to marry everything so he told me it was just five cities pair i was like okay and um thank god i was with 20 cities and i had five this change that was how i bought the book so some of them they use that opportunity to sell their books you know to advertise their ministry to let people know their church their ministry so you come across this set of people so another set of people you come across are the marketers these people they come there to market their products their goods they will tell you sister buy so 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 drug you reduce within three days within seven days buy this drug it will cleanse all rashes it's good for babies it's good for this so everybody comes there to sell their products whether in liquid form or in tablets so there are a lot of people that come there to sell that some they will come and sell books they will come and market their books because of their sugar coated mouth of selling their product you know that you didn't plan for such thing you find yourself buying those products from them so this is another set of people you come across with the comedians you come across people that are so funny that you want the journey to continue this set of people they'll just be inside the bus they'll start cracking you up they'll be saying a lot of funny things or they might just be talking general talk and they'll start laughing they'll just keep cracking you up so you come across this set of people in the bus chai the sleepers <laughs> people that love to sleep I've come across this thing several times that I will take a bus from La Paz to Seco and I will find one or two people sleeping inside the bus. Just a short journey. As we are traveling maybe from Kumasi to Takrade or from, from Accra to Kumasi, I will say, okay, oh, the journey is around six to eight hours. So you'll be kind of tired and you'll feel sleepy. But there are some people that just journey of less than 20 minutes they'll start dozing inside the car there was a particular day that i was inside the bus and this particular guy was sleeping he was fast asleep from la paz to circle and the funniest thing is that the guy did not alight at the um final bus stop he didn't highlight there he is to get down before circle and <laughs> thankfully for him oh, they would have passed his junction so just like say three seconds before they reached his junction he just opened his eyes and said ah driver oh i will highlight here oh. it's okay here yeah, oh. i was like how can you be sleeping like this in my mind i was thinking maybe the guy is going to highlight at the bus stop that's why he's sleeping so you come and call these people that they love to sleep small breeze like this they don't close high small breeze like this they don't close high no matter the noise they will not wake up there are people like that that do never wake up they just be enjoying the breeze the breeze will just blow them once and they will be carried away they would have gone far away so this set of people you come across them then the confused ones there are some people that they are so confused that you don't know where you want to highlight so these ones have I've never been to where they are going so i'm this kind of person that i'm always so confused when i'm going to a place that i'm not familiar with so i'll be telling the mate that mate oh i'm going to highlight in at 37 no oh. don't forget though because there was a particular day that i entered a bus and this mate assured me hundred percent that don't worry i know where you are going to and i'll let you know and thankfully a passenger had to tell me that a ah, sister she means that you are lighting here we've got in there i was like mate mate mate, mate. i'll light so i'll drop i'll drop i'll drop can you imagine that's how the driver would have taken me past my junction like that was when i now realized that if i tell mate something they don't put their mind to it 100% so anytime I enter a bus and I don't know where I'm going to I'll keep shouting telling the mates mates I am going here oh hope you've not forgotten me oh I don't know the place so I'll keep reminding the mates so they said that people in the bus will be looking at me so the confused ones I'm I'm always part of because there are lots of times I'll go to a place like it has happened to me like four to five times I went to a strange place I've not been to before and this is what I do because of the experience I had the first time I was like oh mom I don't want to know what people will say I don't even care about anybody inside the bus my own is to just get to the right place at the right time i don't want the bus to pass 
like past my junction because i know the amount i will spend extra money so these ones are the confused ones <laughs> the last set of people you surely come across with are the load carriers men <laughs> there are some people that they love to carry load inside it but some will pay for extra seats beside them that's one thing i love about ghana because most of their boys don't have um, boots there's no boots at the back <laughs> so there's no place to put your things but you know in nigeria yeah um, who won't pay for extra seats for where who is ready to waste that one cd or two cds they all will carry it on their laps some will even inconvenience the passenger say ah sister sorry oh please eh? let me manage eh? they'll tighten you so in ghana some will pay for seats why some too they'll carry it on their laps some they'll put it under the chair seats so these people are the carriers they're always carrying load actually some market women when they are closing for the day they'll carry one big sack they, and i've come across with them a lot of times anytime i'm going back home around past six or past seven i will see a market tomorrow will just carry a sack then that she'll pay for it, an extra seat or she'll sit at the front seat so that she'll put her things on the engine so you surely come across this set of people yes so these are the types of people you come across in a public transport in Ghana or while traveling within Ghana whether from Accra to Kumasi you understand whether it's a short distance or a long one these are the major ones if you know of set of people you've come across with inside a public transport please drop it in the comment box but these are the major ones the common ones you come across with so I hope you enjoyed this particular video guys <laughs> If you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. Subscription is absolutely free on this channel, guys. All you have to do is just click on that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. This channel is all about lifestyle, relationship, and reaction videos. Remember, stay positive, be you, don't let anything weigh you down. You can always do better at whatever you do. Keep watching Pick a Crown Space. I love you all guys. Bye.